Welcome back guys. Man, I have some crazy, crazy news. University of Texas basketball coach, Coach Beard has been arrested and suspended indefinitely. Why you may ask? Well, apparently he was impeding breath circulation. What is that you ask? This man was out here strangling somebody, allegedly, of course. So the reports are 4.18 a.m. Monday morning. He was charged with assault on a family household member by impeding breath circulation. They received a 911 call for a disturbance in the 900 block of Vista Lane in Terrytown. The caller reported there was a disturbance, but it was no longer ongoing. He left the house. So pretty much it was a young lady that called the cops and said that it was a disturbance. And when they went to go see what happened, she claimed that he strangled her. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Of course, his lawyer came out and said that that was 100% false and the charges would be dropped soon. Of course, you know, it has to go through, you know, the court system. Hopefully that's false because, man, that's crazy. He was doing a good job with the basketball team. That's that's crazy. I hope he didn't do nothing that stupid. Like, come on, dude. Um, but that charge could serve up to the punishment for that is a third degree felony that could potentially lead up to 10 years of prison with fines of up to $10,000 upon conviction. Hopefully that's inaccurate. This is crazy. Um, I hope that's wrong. Coach Barry, you cannot be out here strangling, you know, young, nice ladies. You are the head coach of freaking Texas. You are a millionaire. What are you doing? But innocent until proven gu guilty. I'm hoping that he's smarter than that because this is freaking crazy. Basketball team is doing good. Like, you make a lot of money. You can get another woman. I don't know if he married or not, but come on, dude. Please let this be uh, incorrect. But, I mean, we'll see. So, right now, the second part of that is he is suspended. Texas has suspended him indefinitely. And, in my opinion, they had no other choice because they have to see what's going on. That's a pretty serious case. I mean, it's always been, but especially today's age with, you know, being violent towards women. Like, that would be it's a pretty serious accusation. So, it's innocent to proven guilty, but nowadays it's guilty to prove innocent. So he has been suspended indefinitely without pay. And he was actually arrested. So the university like, didn't have any choice because it would have looked bad if they didn't do anything. It would have looked very, very bad. And, you know, people love, the media loves to, to rag on Texas. So if they didn't hop on that quick and suspend him to get ahead of this, it could have been very bad. It's better to suspend him without pay and be wrong because you can just say sorry later and give him his money back if he's found uh not guilty then to not do anything and he's found to be guilty like there's a video or something crazy now everybody's criticizing the hell out of you now because you didn't do anything they say oh your basketball team was more important than not strangling young women apparently allegedly so that's texas that's the only choice that they could do honestly uh it's still, you know, very, very early on. We will see his lawyer already responded. We, you know, right now it's he say, she say. So we will see what happens. I hope this is not true. If it is, man, he need to get some help. And I hope the young lady is okay. That's pretty serious. Um, man, you gotta control your anger. You can't, you can't, man, let people. You can't let people get you that emotional like that. Hopefully, it's not true. It'd be a horrible story. They was having a great. A great season and i mean chris beer actually seemed like a good guy and i don't want and plus i don't want to see anybody harm uh you know especially women i have you know a lot of women women family members so can't imagine the dude strangling them i'd be ready to <laughs> i'd be ready to uh ready to kind of crash out on them. but uh yeah so i'll be back with more updates when i hear hear more um who knows hopefully it's over quick but i don't know maybe it goes for a while Texas actually has a game um, tonight on the twelfth uh, Monday night versus Rice. So, how the players how are the players going to look? Their coach just got suspended for allegedly strangling the young lady, and he's in freaking jail. And they have a game. So, yeah, that will be interesting. But uh, thank you for watching the video. Please come back for more updates, and I have other videos also. If you like sports, specifically college football. 
uh, King Mace D Sports, we out. Hope to see you again.